dun 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 Hey guys, it's the Metal Blade 5. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time we went to the shipyard to try and find a clue to where Skipper's ship is. But instead we had to fight Moldorash and there was nothing there. And I'm singing the Pirates of the Caribbean theme because in order to try and find any clue at all, we have to head to the Pirate Stronghold. as I thought it would be, Worm. But if you think about it, they should all be dead, sir. The only reason I'm up and about like this is because of that time shift stone on the boat, Oui. So I have nothing to worry about, Broom. I feel better now, Link. It's time for you to go look for my ship, sir. Wait here, of course, sir. Okay, this is one thing I need to take back that I said back in episode 38, which is that, um... Skipper isn't the only robot that is aware of the fact that this isn't, um, their time period, and that is a scrapper also is the same for some reason. I mean, I guess, you, I guess maybe scrapper is aware of it because he woke up in Skyloft, while the others woke up in the labor region, and Skipper might know about it because he was, um, he next neighbor was slain. But anyway, the entrance is blocked by this giant. Is it a fossil or stone structure of some sea monster? So we have to head into this door on the side. And now we're in the pirate stronghold, which is basically a mini dungeon. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it is meant to hold a time shift stone, but there is no not one currently installed. There is a 95% chance that it is the same type of device as the ones we encountered in the Nehru mine. Signs indicate that time shift stones we use in this facility is a kind of power source. So we need to find a time shift stone to bring over here. Yeah, as I said earlier, this is basically a mini dungeon, kind of like the ice cavern in Ocarina of Time, and various other mini dungeons in Zelda games. Right over here we have two Lizzlefuls. They're not the pirates though, what? they're just here for some reason. See the kill in the game. Okay, you're dead. Three of fire. Keep yourself open. There we go. There, we have an electric spew, and we can actually kill these things in one hit with a Skyward Strike because of the Goddess Longsword being stronger than the regular Goddess Sword, meaning I don't have to use up bombs on them. And if Link will stop trying to climb that wall, we can head through this door. And if we go over here, we see a time shift area. Master, please take a look. This object is called a time shift orb. I conjecture that, unlike time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. Yes, we could pick this thing up. And there's another way that the time shift stone mechanic is very well used in this game, why I like it so much. So we have to carry this thing around, and this opens up some more types of puzzles that we have to do with it. First off, sense of bringing enemies back to life and it allows us to get rid of the barbed wire. Kill you and I easily killed you, I didn't get a shot. So I'm just need to hit from here. And we have a BMO sense shit! We need to kill this guy next Okay now you wanna leave this orb here. Open this treasure chest. This gives us a silver rupee. The reason why you can't, you shouldn't take the orb through if you want to get that is because it activates an electric fence. And now here's another interesting mechanic we can use the time stroke. 
when did these little rock structures will appear? Wow, two ancient flowers next to each other. Anyway, those rock structures will appear in the area affected by the time shift orb. And we have to use those as platforms to get across by going up here in order to reach them. And oh, I, I, I'm just I'm just bothered by the fact that I still haven't got around to making my next uh, my next countdown, which I'm which I'm really looking forward to making, by the way. It's just I haven't gone very well because I've been trying to be busy with this game. I have exams coming up, which I've been revising for. There's two Smash Brothers related videos that I'm trying to make. I have a lot of I have a lot of time I have a lot not time, but a lot of things on my mind right now. Anyway, there are some rock structures that will block the way to that chest if you're if it's in the area of the time shift or so you have to run across the quicksand to get it. Give us the monster horn. And I still need those two materials. I need a, a, a hornet nest, which is my fault for not getting that. But there's also the other one is a bird feather, and you get those from finding any instances of birds and just using the bugs net, I think, on them. But but obviously, birds. It's very easy to make the birds fly away. Anyway, something I recently figured out is that recently, well, not figured out, but found out on the internet is that you can throw a bomb at a Deku, at a Deku Baba, and it'll eat it, and it'll blow up. And I'm going to ignore you and head through here. And might as well get rid of you. I did not get hit, and now you are. Heck is a fossil, and now you came back to die again. And now what we need to do here is... Uh, see ya! There is a box over here, which we need to pull onto this switch. And this switch will... When Link stands on it when the box goes on top of it. We'll open the way through. So so that we can get rid of the barbed wire that's in the way. There, now we head from here. Now, when I head here, is Beemosar. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> also, you are not in the time shift area. You are barely in it so you should technically be dead again anyway you want to i believe you want to put the orb around here and then run to the other side because we can now pull that switch the switch i believe would have been covered by some sort of metal or rust if it's not in the time shift area there and there's also a chest here Carnival crystal from it. There, so now we can go over here and get the time shift. Time shift door up here. I'm going to ignore that beam. So now we have two armos which we have to kill. So I am going to run away. And then. Oh shit. The thing I find best to do is try to lure one towards you, and then... Oh, come on! That's bull. What the fuck? There, okay. Okay, there. You can lure one of them out of the area, and then just deal with the other one. There, now you're letting me hit it. No shit. There. There, now you're dead. Now we just need to get the other one. This is taking much 
longer than it should. There. There we go. Finally. So now we can head through there. Which will take us back to the entrance. And do not raise the mouth of the fossil or stone structure or whatever of the giant sea monster. Our report master, the power of the time shift orb appears to have caused a change in the structure. I recommend going outside to further access the situation. A assess, not access. I want to access the situation. First, when you leave this area, the first thing you want to do is hit this claw shot target up here, so I can reach the other one, head up on to this area where there is a goddess cube. I don't know how that light's going to get through the mouth. Anyway, we jump down. I have a patient to report, Master. Please take a look. There is a 60% probability that these masts and these sails are from the ship that protects Nehru's flame. You can now set your dowsing ability to search for the ship that holds Nehru's flame. So there, now that we can douse for the location of Skipper's ship, Better after I get this down through. Better go back and talk to Skipper so we can finally find his ship. So my ship wasn't here either, Vroom. Search? Sweet? You found a clue? You know this place? The kind of thing called dowsing? That's amazing, Weep. This time we'll definitely find my ship. Food? Leave it to set sail, Weep. Anchors away, sir. How are we going to search this whole huge sea, Vroom? I have no choice but ask you to do it for me, research. So get cracking, weep. There's a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view, weep. But if we attack it, then we might be able to get a closer, search. So, we douse. The ship is over there, but I don't really know how this ship can be sailing when, you know, the entire sea, except for the area affected by Skipper's Time Shift Stone, is sand. Anyway, I'm just going to run all of you over. This thing kills you. And continue dowsing. The ship is over there. And I just sailed into a rock while I was doing that. So we have to head over here. And one issue about hitting the ship is that also is that the ship is actually constantly moving. Yeah, it's constantly moving, so... Still over there, we haven't gotten any close... Well, we, yeah, we have gotten close to it, but we haven't got close enough for it to make, like, the giant dowsing circle. We had, where, where was it? Okay, it was not... it was not showing it at first. Okay, it's nearby. There it is. See it? Weep. That's my ship, Firm. Must pursue, Mr. And keep pounding it with the cannon, sir. So, see, we need to. Did I just bump into the ship? I bumped into the. I'm bumping into the ship. I am right next to the ship. When you hit times, it will make it stop sailing. We 
have now reached the next dungeon of the game. The Sand Ship. This and the Ancient Cistern are my favorite dungeons in the entire game. But you'll have to see why next time. Next time on Legend of Skyward Sword, we'll be exploring the Sand Ship to find Nehru's flame. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.